Hello students, today we are understanding the concept of pollinator and the pollinizer. This concept is important for the UPSC civil service examination and Indian forest service. So what do we mean by pollinators? Pollinators are the agent which transfer pollens from male to the female floral organ. What is the male floral organ? Anther. What is the female uh, floral organ? That is stigma. On the basis of the origin, this pollinator uh, got classified into two. First uh, uh, type is the wild pollinator. The second one is the managed pollinator. Under the wild pollinators, uh, there are so many wild uh, microorganisms are involved. Like uh, you can say butterflies, beetles, moths, wasps, and the, the bees which are uh, locally present. Okay. Uh, in the managed pollinators, there are particularly European honeybees or uh, blue orchard bees. European honeybees, you know that which are nowadays we are using under the apiculture. So the efficiency of these pollinators per rigid basis which are under the wild pollinators uh, category is high. For example, if a fly is visiting, a wild fly visiting this flower, it may carry more numbers of the pollens than that of the managed pollinators. So efficiency per widget of this managed pollinator is low as compared to this wild one. So number of pollinator per field uh, is low. Why? Because they are just naturally. They are the natural ones. So their population is controlled by nature. But number of the pollinators under the managed condition is high. We can increase their population. We can manage their population artificially. That's why their population is high in the field. So overall efficiency of this management is high because their population is high. Their overall efficiency is low because their population is low. Wild pollinators are important in both wild condition and the artificial or you can say agricultural system. The dono baby is important because they are pollinating both type of plants, wild one and the what are in the agricultural system and these are more familiar or more suitable for the agricultural system particularly economically important crops like a fruits crops or uh, some uh, seed production plots like onion seeds okay so these pollinators are important in the seed production which were which are managed one so this is overall concept of the pollinators Another concept uh, which uh, we always confuse with pollinator is the pollinizers. So from this plant you can understand that pollinizers are the plants which donate pollen to the another plant. It called as the pollinizer. What type of character should uh, have this, uh, should possess this pollinator plant? It should provide compatible, viable and plentiful pollens and it should bloom at the same time of the plant which we are going to pollinate. It means that it should provide a pollen which can fertile the ovaries of uh, the species of interest. Okay. Or you can say commercial variety. These pollen should be viable. They should not be sterile. The pollinator variety should bloom. Mean it should have a flower at the same time as like that of the commercial variety. Then and then this pollinator can be useful for us. You know that the Bombay green variety is a good pollinizer for the dashari. It means that when dashari bloom at the same time there should be blooming of the Bombay green which provide pollens for the fertilization of the dashari. If the Bombay green doesn't bloom it means that there may be a negative effect on the fruiting or the fruit quality of the dashari. Same concept can be applicable for the red delicious variety. Red delicious variety requires pollens from the manchurian variety of apple which is good pollinizer for the red delicious. Okay, from these two examples, uh, I think you got the concept of the pollinator and the pollinizer. Why UPSC asked this question? Because the conservation of the biodiversity is very hot issue. Nowadays, this pollinizer and the pollinator both are equally important for the conservation of the biodiversity. 
if you are just if you are not conserving this pollinizer there may be the effect on our commercial varieties if you are not conserving the pollinators there might be the less pollination less yield okay so all these have a cumulative effect on the overall yield of our field crops our fruit crops hope so you like this concept if you like this concept if you want more video like this just like this channel thank you